Hello and welcome. So the Stellaris Overlord update has added the Hyper Relay to the game. Uh, these guys are sort of like gateways uh, in the same way that an F-22 is a bit like a passenger plane. Let's get into it. So, so switch into the tech tree real quick. This is a super, super resource. It will be in the description. The link will be in the description if you need it. We are in the physics uh, tree. And as you can see, Hyper Relays is just here. It is a tier two research. It is a uh, an epic one, it is a purple one. So it can be rarer than the other ones to pop up. And it has two prerequisites. It has Hyperlane Breach Point and FTL Inhibition. So if you research both of these, you will have the chance or the opportunity to research Hyper Relays. So back into the game, uh, Hyper Relays are relatively cheap to build. They cost uh, 25 influence, which is pretty small, uh, especially after the changes to influence. They cost 500 alloys, and probably the most difficult thing to come by really is the 100 rare crystals, uh, particularly if you're building a big network of them and your crystal production isn't that strong. So it is a small investment. The crystals is the biggest issue, really. They build incredibly quickly. They only take one year to build. So at this point, you're asking what are they and how do they work? How are they different to gateways? So gateways have been in the game for a long, long time, and a gateway allows you to travel from one star system to another. So for example, we could have a gateway in star system uh, here in Pinacoa or Pincoa, and we could have a gateway all the way down here in uh, Polkor, for example, and you could send fleets into the gateway and it would travel across the galaxy instantaneously, no problem. So what are hyper relays and, and how do they work? So hyper relays connect ad systems adjacent to each other together, which sounds really silly, right? Because if you wanted to travel from point A here to point B here, well, you don't need a hyper relay to do that. I mean, you can select the construction ship and tell it to move and he moves there, right? There's, there's, there's no issue. So, you know, what, what are these guys for? So what hyper relays do is they allow ships to jump to other hyper relays in adjacent systems. And what that avoids is using these hyper lanes, right? So if we have a hyper relay in uh, Rebulon and in Merope, then rather than necessarily using the hyper lane to get to wherever it is, uh, here, here we go, it's up here. To get to Merope, they wouldn't necessarily have to do that. They would simply go through the Hyper Relay to do that. Potentially that's strange, but it can convey quite the advantage, particularly in systems where, for example, the FTL travel, uh, the faster than the light travel sort of bet within the system itself is quite slow in a nebula system or in a neutron star system or whatever it might be. And over time over the entirety of your empire this can quite vastly increase the point-to-point -point travel time um, as i will now demonstrate we have a fleet of 20 battleships in the system ophel they are sitting in the center um, and what we are going to do we are going to send them to zolbax more and we are going to time in number of days how long it takes these guys to get here uh, small disclaimer, they are running the advanced afterburners, so they will have plus 20% sublight speed, but I'll make sure to use exactly the same ships when we do the test with the hyper relays and work out the time difference. So if I send them to Zolbrax more um, in pause, and then we note the uh, date and day, and then let's set them on their way. How long is this going to take? Let's find out. and finally we're there okay so that took them a full year effectively it took them just over a full year it took them five days over a full year to get from uh zolbrax or to get from ophiel to zolbrax more so let's try it with hyper relays and see what the difference is okay so we are back again uh we have the same battleship fleet the same advanced afterburners but what we have done is set up hyper relays in all of these systems. Now, I didn't place them specifically. I simply took the construction ship, selected the system and right click build hyper relay. So the system is putting them in place for me, which is why you can see they're all there. 
what you can notice from the map straight away is that the line is much much thicker and that denotes that you have um, these systems are part of the hyper relay network so no messing about we're gonna right click on Zulbax more it's currently the 2nd of November remember it took just over a year last time for our fleets to reach there let's see how long it takes this time so as you can see they're there already I think I was I think I was even pretty slow right so yeah I mean it's taken three months maybe just just over three months I mean that's crazy different right and I mean that is a relatively short distance that's what one two three four five six seven um seven systems that we've traveled through and we've done it I mean pretty crazy you can see how good these things are if you set them up all over the galaxy further to this um you'll also notice a couple of edicts will appear when you unlock and build hyper relays so these are network these are networked dominance movement and amenities they cost a relatively small amount of unity 14 is is you know really not the end of the world and as you can guess they give you bonuses so amenities are uh, fairly straightforward it decreases the, the pop amenities usage by 10 percent now it's important to note that this will only give a bonus to a system that has a hyper relay in it so just by building one hyper relay and you, you know expecting this to work on all your planets it's not going to you need the hyper relay in the system to get the bonus movement uh, so that gives you an automatic resettlement chance of plus 50 percent and it decreases the cost of 25 percent so that will be the energy cost or uh, influence cost or unity cost i forget what it costs these days um, but it will decrease the cost anyway and finally network dominance so this increases the stability of your uh, planets by plus three again you need to have the hyper relay in the system in order to get the bonus well thank you for watching i hope that has given you a good insight on what hyper relays are and how they work and certainly the benefits of them the way that battleship um, fleet just jumped from system to system is really really awesome if you guys are interested in seeing uh, a video about my top five megastructures click the video on screen now thanks for watching bye bye bye